the Screaming Eagle and own suspension that I have. I ran the Legends Revo Arcs on my bike for some time. I've had Legends on my bike, I've had them for years. I mean, they make a great product. One brand is more superior than the other. Right here, we got the Olin's front end. This is from Big Bear. Um, these companies all have different brackets, so they're all gonna be stationed on the bike differently. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. It is a, it's a hot one out here in dirty Jersey today. Blue skies, clear skies, high of 90 degrees. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about the Screaming Eagle and Owen suspension that I have compared to the uh, Legends Revo Arc that I had on this bike previously. Oh, uh, this thump sounds great. Chrome works. Great pipes. Woo! Oh, this bike sounds so good. <laughs> I just love the sound of this bike. For some time now, I've been asked several times to do a comparison video between the legends. Uh, suspension that I had on previously and the suspension that I have on here now which is the uh, Screaming Eagle and Ola suspension. Before we dive into everything let me just tell you that anything and everything is an upgrade when you're going from stock. Just know that any suspension you get after stock is going to be good. I ran the Legends Revo Arcs on my bike for some time. Um, I ran Legends before that on my Dyna as well. And Legends makes a great product. I was very happy with the Revo Arcs that I had on this bike before. Very, 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 very happy with it. Now, the only reason why I ended up changing it to the Screaming Eagle and Olin suspension was because I wanted to try these out. Um, there's a lot of word out there that Olin's is just top notch on the scale. It's the top, top, the best of everything. Um, and even though some of you guys might say, oh, these are Screaming Eagle and Olin's. They're not actual Olin's. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm not sure if maybe if, if it's just the cartridge inside that it might be slightly different, but I don't know. I'm not a suspension guru, so for those of you guys out there who know a little bit more about that, if you guys wanna drop your thoughts and your comments down below on that, then I'd be more than happy to, to read those comments. Now, in all honesty, I, I can't sit here and tell you that one brand is more superior than the other. What I can tell you is that these are two great choices, probably two of the most popular choices out on the market right now. If it's not the uh, Screaming Eagle and Olin's, obviously it's just the Olin's brand on its own. Now they each have a lot, a lot of settings. So depending on the type of ride you're gonna be doing or if you're gonna have a passenger on the back, you can definitely adjust your suspension at any time, which is very easy. That That's like the number one thing on both these brands. On most piggyback suspensions you're gonna have on your bike. Very easy to adjust. At any point, you could just pull over before you leave your garage, adjust your suspension, adjust your sag, adjust your dampening, whatever it is you want to do. It's very, very easy to do on both ends. Now, one thing I might add is that, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like the Screaming Eagle and Olin's, it's just a tad bit more plusher than the Legends. Now I have played around with the settings a lot. I know someone's gonna say, well, you probably have it on a different setting. Well, I, I played with these settings on both suspensions for some time. Um, for some reason, I don't know, it might just be me. It just the Owens and the Screaming Eagle just feels a bit more, more plusher. But one thing that uh, Legends is gonna come with is that lifetime warranty, which you can't go wrong. 
lifetime warranty. But if anything happens to your shocks, you blow out your shocks for whatever reason, send them in, they'll get them fixed for you, they'll ship them back out, and then you put them on your bike. Now, sometimes I know we say, well, sometimes things have life warranty is because they could go bad easily. I, I never had an issue with any of the, the legend setups that I had on my bikes. I have heard of several people that have had issues. So, I don't know, depending on the type of riding you're doing or maybe the way you're setting up your suspension, that has to do a lot with it. But I've never had an issue with them. Now, with that being said, if you are looking at another option and you do want to have something different from what's out there, there's a lot of different options out there as well. Fox makes a great set of suspension. They make great stuff, man. I tried the Fox suspension on the Indian Sport Chief, and that thing was night and day compared to stock. Anything is going to be better than stock, like I said before. But it, it was a tremendous improvement. There's also GP. That's another great option for you out there. And lately, I feel like there's just more companies that are getting into the whole suspension segment of it all as well. So you have plenty of options out there. Out of these two, which one's the best? In all honesty, they're both great choices. You cannot go wrong with any. It might come down to a preference of Lux. It might come down to a preference of which sticker you want to rock on those canisters in the back. As far as setting up the suspension and where they're placed at, um, these companies all have different brackets, so they're all going to be stationed on the bike differently. Um, when I first got my Legends Revos, I got them installed in the bottom of my bags uh, so they could be out of the way. At that time, I wanted them hidden in the bottom. I didn't want anybody touching or screwing around with my suspension because that's one thing that does happen. People pass by and they're like, oh, what's this? What is this doing? They start touching and out of nowhere, your suspension's out of whack because one side is turned to a certain level and the other one isn't. Um, but then I decided I just wanted them on top, so I ended up switching them to the top setup. Now that setup was positioned differently from where my Streaming Eagle and Owen suspension is set up now. So, like I said, yeah, every brand is going to have their bracket positioned differently to look different as well. And then there's also companies out there that just sell brackets as well. So, whichever suspension you go with, if you want to go with that bracket from that company or change it around, you're also going to have the option to we're going to stop by the Torque Custom Cycle shop over here real quick. We're going to ask Mike what he prefers to put on his bikes. Hey, my boy. Hey, big sexy. What's up? Bring it in, man. Uh, really quick. We're talking about suspension. Legends versus Screaming Eagle Olin's. Or Olin's. What do you prefer on your bike? Olin's. Why? Because they're awesome. <laughs> uh, so, um, I just think the internal parts are uh, better. Okay. Internally, I think the parts are better. Um, Olin, or Legends, I've had a few come in with a lot of uh, issues leaking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I uh, was telling people that um, I have heard of people you know, blowing out their shocks too a few times. Yeah, I've had like three or four sets already. I haven't seen a set of Olins do that. And uh, the Olins are different than the Screaming Eagle Olins. So it's different components. Yeah, so I, I heard that, what is it? The Is it the actual spring inside? It's, in, it's all the internal parts are a little bit different. Olins worked with Harley to develop those Screaming Eagle shocks. So yeah. You know, there are... They're affordable. What do you know they go for? I think they're affordable. <laughs> they're a little cheaper than the actual Olins, yeah. but not by much. They're about fifteen fifty. Yeah. So they're on that bike over there. Mm -hmm. like the and it's just the only problem with them is uh, they're never in stock. Yeah. That's the issue. So I'm uh, I'm having issues with that. Gotcha. All right. Well, there you have it from the man himself as well. Um, like I said, uh, I mean, Legends makes a great product. Do you agree with that? I mean, you run Legends on your bike. I've had Legends on my bike. I've had them for years. I mean, they make 
great product, but so many things. I've been riding these bikes with the Olins, and they're just they've been way better. Is is it me, or or does Olins feel like a a bit more premium and plusher? They are. Right. Um, I feel it mostly on the dyno. If I get a bike on here with stock suspension and I'm running on the dyno, mm -hmm. I'll be hopping. Okay. With the stock suspension. And I've had it with some of these legends that are on here. A set of Olins on here, I sometimes look down at the wheel to make sure the wheel's spinning because it's so smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it definitely feels a bit plusher. That's what I was telling everybody before. All right. Well, there you go, guys. You guys could uh, debate which one you want on your bike. Right here, we got the Olins front end. This from Big Bear. The whole setup. And then we got Olins in the back. Pretty good. Your choice, your money, you decide what you want. Uh, anyways, that's going to be it. If you guys want to see a little bit more content like this, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Hey.